Not technically late. Here we are. We have arrived. Oh, wow. I am just I'm just hitting on all cylinders. I think uh all of the all of the recent game patches have happened the day before stream day for a while now, and it leads me to believe that when the last spell DLC drops, it's just going to be an absolute uh it's going to be absolutely at the worst possible moment. Hey Rusty, hey and Lustrous, welcome on in. But uh but yeah, we have we have a new update of Darkest Dungeon that we're going to talk about. So let's uh let's start talking about it. I'm not going to not going to record this part of it, but let's get get on in. But it'll probably it'll probably release like 10 minutes before the end. Uh before the end of stream and we'll we'll have to do a whole second run cuz uh cuz it's worth it. So so yeah, so we have a we have a big patch here. The last light patch has just hit experimental, and it, they warn you that this is a uh, an early release, so we're not going to have all the assets done for it necessarily. But the big headlining feature, I think, is the hero path conversions. So most heroes were still on their pre-vestal version of paths so now everybody has been updated to the new system but they didn't do the balancing that they've done with some of the other heroes like the grave robber got a balance patch and i think they decided that it was just taking too long so they decided to update everyone to the new system and they're going to continue balancing next we have some late game candle usage freaking finally thank goodness so now we will be able to get consumables and trinkets and also stagecoach gear from inventory grants. So we'll be able to spend candles on those and it will ramp up in cost as we go. Uh, we'll be able to re-roll heroes uh, quirks, it looks like, if they are non-memoried. So you can fine tune our party. So hypothetically, we could potentially re-roll into Breacher or something like that. Uh, and then also, you'll, it appears you'll be able to re-roll Assistance, Resistance, Cultist, and Creature Dens. So we need to conserve some candles. It's going to be interesting to see how candles fit into the overall ecosystem. Hero goals are getting better rewards now, which is pretty interesting. Tr trinkets and Stagecoach are 16 candles. Okay. That seems, that seems reasonable, Rusty. Uh, so let's see. So now you'll be able to... Uh, you'll be able to generate candles. Wait a second. So this is after maxing out the Altar of Hope game tracks, new hero goals will be to generate will be generated for them, which can reward hero class trinkets or signature in items, which is very cool. And most hero goals that reward candles now immediately reward inventory candles. Ah, I don't know about easy mode, but I, I do think they're trying to give it a little bit of help. Yeah, we'll we'll check that out in a second. Then we have. The Infernal Flame Vitrine, which is going to allow us to track what uh, what torches we have beat with what heroes. Then we're, there's going to be uh, there's some combat updates like Unchecked Power getting a better tooltip, and then I'm going to skip these for the most part. This is not changes, but now the these are all the changes they made to get all of the work. Uh, oh, whoa. Okay, so so most of these are changes for uh, for giving for for getting the heroes up to date with the new system. But the aspirant binding shadows now moves forward. That's really cool. That's actually a very nice change because it means the aspirant who doesn't want to be in rank four now has an easy way to get out of rank four and reset your party order. But down here there were a couple things that were interesting that I wanted to mention. Uh, so first of all, assistance encounters are now going to think about what you need. So if you need plating or wheels, you'll potentially get it. The shrine map is no longer going to show up if you don't have any shrines of reflection. That's going to improve our uh, stagecoach gear results. Snappy swig speed threshold for gaining crit increased from eight to ten. So they have uh, they have nerfed snappy swig, and there's a bunch of other things that we're going to have to take a look at here. Um, Covert Cloak, if target is immobilized, 10% crit. There's actually, we should read through these because there's some weird stuff in here. Almanacs are now tagged as road gear. Give plus two speed and stress resist uh, for their respective re regions. Hey, Rose, welcome on in. 
Uh, Shambler's spawn added 33% more cultist encounters. Uh, Rat Skull increased stun resist debuff from tracking shot. And decreased healing received penalty from minus 90 to minus 66. That's nice. Profane Scroll turn end will rank 3 or 4 stress damage uh, from 2 to 1. That was a little punishing. I can see that. Strong Shackles, rework to apply on hit immobilize and gain on hit immobilize. Okay. Staggering Striker added if target is immobilized, more damage. So they're doing a lot of immobilize synergy stuff. Covert Cloak, more crit on immobilize. Sneakers Standard, uh, all heroes stealth token change to combat start, all allies begin stealth. Not sure how I feel about that. That seems actively bad most of the time. <laughs> Indeed. We have to check stuff out. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Uh, let's see. Unwavering standard. All heroes, the block token. Change to combat start. All allies, block token. I think I like that. Grim mask uh, reworked to gain on crit. Each ally, if flame greater than 40%, minus one stress. Each ally on turn, if flame less than 40%, more stress. And if flame less than 40%, more damage. So you get damage and stress at low flame, and you get less stress at more stain. I kind of like that. Heart-shaped padlock is increase resolute chance, change to random ally when healed at a positive token. Ooh. Ooh. Heart-shaped padlock plus vestal regen? Potentially very strong. Or any regen, I guess. Potentially strong. Blood smeared calculations. Uh, remove the one damage on turn start and turn end. Uh, now converts crit to dodge plus and strength to block added end of turn bleed. Still kind of dangerous. Snappy Swig got the nerf bat. Anatomical map changed to apply negative token or positive token changed to 90-10 to 95-5. Just make it 100% already. Then hasten history is no longer random ally. Uh, to end of turn, ally ahead speed token. So cool. Ally ahead is genius. Same with uh, insulating insignia. Ally ahead block token. I love that. It's almost like a third token option in situations where you need it. Wax inoculant now targets whole party and uh, the cost is increased to 12. Okay. Caked palette now has a 100% chance to copy positive tokens along with a 5% chance to copy negative. Pouch of Lie added minus one stress for each corpse cleared with this item. Whoa, nice change. And then Shred of Decency changed from removing worship to remove all worship. Okay, cool. Well, now we know what we're getting ourselves into. So let's uh, let's get ourselves into it. The flame grows stronger. Okay, so we have 74 candles, candles. All right, we are in the coming in hot branch of Darkest Dungeon 2 for the new Last Light update, which comes with a bunch of new ways to spend candles and a bunch of rebalancing, including ruining my betrothed sappy swig. So, going down the list, we have, we have no leper, sad. There's nothing new in this one, but in the working fields... Yeah, now we can spend 16 candles on trinkets or stagecoach items or in items or combat items. This is quite the lottery, but it seems like I have 4,000 candles. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, I, I kind of expected that I'd only have the 70 candles from our last run, not 4,000 candles. Oh my goodness. Um... Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna try and exercise restraint. I don't want to use more candles than we are generally producing, but let's grab a trinket. Curing Kappa is interesting. We'll grab a, a stagecoach item as well, the road jack, and let's get a let's get some anti venom and a book of body tales. All right, not gonna have too much of an impact, but. We at least tried stuff out. I guess we haven't looked at this stuff. I think we still have stuff we haven't seen. God, look at this this progress bar just growing and growing and growing. Um, I, there was at least one thing mentioned in the patch notes that I'm not convinced that we have yet. 
But anyways, let's uh let's get going. Because I think we've done everything there is to do here. Uh oh. Oh, you have. Oh, it's a click and hold now to embark. I was like, wait, what's going on? Anything else left to do? Wait, was there was there anything in the Intrepid Coast? I don't think there was. Yeah, I think I think it's just this for now. But yeah, you can definitely. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to remember click and hold. Now I don't think we're gonna be using a leper on this run. So we won't be re-rolling our hero quite yet. Five million candles to match. Could be. Let's go, let's go resentment, I think. I'm oh wait, can we bring we can't bring up the stagecoach menu yet, I don't think. Because I, I want to see the infernal whatever it is, the place where you can track your progress. They said due to a technical limitation, they haven't been able to track what candles you've beaten so far, which is uh, understandable, but uh, it, it would have been fun to see what we had already done, but it means we have something, something more to do in the near term. Okay, so every single hero now, whoops, is going to have the new format for their stuff. I think we're going, I think we're going Ravager. So my plan right now is to go, is to go bleed shenanigans. I think we're, I think we're going bleed, but maybe we're, maybe we're taking out the Warlock because there isn't a great backline bleeder. So who is, which is the bleed identity for, uh, for the Highwaymen. I feel like they could give back Sharp Shot's speed buff now that they've uh, nerfed other things. Is it? So let's see. Rank Flexible Bleed Specialist. Back Rank. Brawler focused on up on combat and repost. Yeah, so I think it's Yellow Hand, I guess. So let's let's make sure we understand the what we're dealing with here. So Open Vein becomes four and reduces bleed resist. Grape Shot Blast also has a bleed reduction. And Highway Robbery is just going to be... Steal positive tokens and reduce bleed dealt. Okay, so it's increase self bleed dealt and reduce enemy bleed dealt. Super weird on that one. And then the... The repost is going to potentially give bleed. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go for this, and see what we're working with. So, Ravager, Yellow Hand, Surgeon, Warlock. Okay. Oh, there's a name for this for this comp. What is it? If it bleeds, it leads. All right. Does it change anything if we do this? In the red curious okay we could we could start out this way and do a lunge first where what what ranks can we hit with lunge the first three you're gonna be doing i don't think we're gonna be yapping we're gonna be iron swanning probably bleeding out and then yeah it's probably this setup all right we're gonna we're gonna go uh, if it bleeds it leads though I think and we did pick warlock over here right yes we did all right let's get rocking and rolling oh this is also a click and hold now oh are we are we cool looking is everybody cool looking yeah we're we're doing bleedy stuff so let's do that. Which knife is the bleediest knife? I feel like this little pokey knife is the bleediest knife, so we'll do that. And we're a yellow hand, so we'll do that. And then definitely need a serrated blade on, on this friend. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then... I, 
I like this. I like this one, I think. All right, let's do it. The most important changes, the aesthetic changes. This is a team that is very competent on uh, for the... Uh, Into the crumbling chaos. Let's see, where am I putting this? So, so the... So the surgeon... Ah, I see. So they move the resistance piercing on play grenade to here. Oh, which is interesting. That means we can put curing cuppa here if we wanted to. And it would still be... Ah, that's interesting. Yeah, so curing cuppa is... We no longer have a blight resist issue on our plague doctor. Well, we, we clearly do. I need to switch some skills up. We probably keep play grenade though. And then Highway Robbery, Grape Shot. This looks pretty reasonable. Then we get bleed out, and then we don't need Sack Stab. I think we like Demon Pull. Okay. There we go. Comforts are exhausted. Yeah, there isn't really a backline. Bleeder, for for lack of a better descriptor. You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain. A promising development. When you have burning stars as a nuke. Yeah, I mean, it's true. That's why I love the Warlock. A petty hindrance. I, I do like this this weapon. Yeah, we have three out of four bleeders. Three out of four bleeders. Also, I wanted I wanted to check. So Silver Eyes does have natural swing locked in. Legion is deadly. We we're looking for something to lock in on RC, and we're looking for something to lock in on in Lustrous. I just realized, in Lustrous, you're on the team. How fun is that? We haven't brought you out in a while. Although I think Silver Eye is the uh, the most dust in encased at the moment. I'm I'm really surprised there's no way to sp spend candles in the in the inn. Is that is that dagger with the map through it new? Shara sure, begged to differ. Fair point. Fair point. Fair point. Where are we going? Ooh. Wait, we naked and afraid. We get the greater wolf's blood. We pair it up with the snappy swig. We're obviously gonna get. All right, it's a plan. <laughs> Not today, Snappy Swig. Okay, so Shambler Spawn now has more cultist encounters, which I think is interesting. Two Wild Tees is kind of interesting. Who's Calm? I think RC was one I saw was Calm. Yeah. Spend what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. Here's what I think we do. If Indeed, it ever I think did. we definitely buy the smoke bombs. We buy the soothing. I kind of want to buy and hold the Songbook of Rousing to Tunes so that we can enable Snappy Swig without, but I think it's too much to do. Oh yeah, we can see the wins in the stagecoach. Good call. 
This right here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that grid. Well, we have a new goal. <laughs> Learn what can be taught. That you may stand just a little we have a new goal. I think it's I think it's too greedy to Hydrophobic, Neat Freak, Fussy Eater, Anemic. None of these are terrible. Sprained Wrist is pretty annoying. But I think it's the last one that we're going to lose. So doing doing the Wild Tease is not worth it. Are we a crit team? We certainly could be a crit team. The new Shambler spawn could be fun as well. But the RNG always feels a little bad. Ah, eh, we haven't done a Shambler spawn in a while. We'll try out the new Shambler spawn. A little company for the long ride ahead. Doing this on Killer's Glow? Which one is that? Gain on Killing Blow, plus one crit for this region's on Killing Blow allies. Our stress healing is kind of bad. Until we start getting our crit engine going. I think I think I want to just do... Let's see, this is minus five crit. Eh, despairing Flame. Less relationship chance. I could probably do it on Corpse Light. We had a pretty rough Corpse Light one before. We could we could buy the Almanac. It's a little sad. These Almanacs are so expensive. I think I'm going to grab this, and then I'm going to exercise some restraint. Toe-to-toe -to -toe upgrade is good, but we don't need it right now. I think we like Abyssal Artillery here, and we like Incision? Incision is a nice big hit. Yeah. We'll take Incision. We're probably going to need to equip Raucous Revelry. We're going to leave this empty so that we're good to go. All right, and I guess we are good to go. Anything else I want? Oh, wait. Did I use my in items? I did not. I'm going to grab one stale bread, too. But, yeah. This this looks good enough. I am aware. You're, you're giving me things for these unequipped stagecoach items. So, it is no surprise. All right. Let's get rocking. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with not starting work right away on the... Uh, oh, man. All these being click and hold. I don't know if I... Did they really have a lot of problems with people skipping that screen? The world may never know, but... Behold, the great cities of man. Ruined See, this is, this is the problem. Flames. Thanks for the 33% more uh, Oblivion's Ingresses game. Said no one ever. Uh, I guess we go middle, middle, middle layer. All right. Well, myriad options require careful deliberation. Okay. Does the coach handle differently? That's the next big question. No, it seems like they didn't mess with that. Now, is there, is there a reroll button here somewhere? There's an inventory button here that might not have been here. But it doesn't look like I can reroll this. I thought I thought that was some that was an option, but maybe not.
three to five. That should do it. Nope. Just kidding. You're about to get Iron Swan right in your nose. That's right, in the nose, not in the face. Early We're innovating. I do like the cleaver, though. Weakening Curse? I rarely ever use Weakening Curse. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. Sacred Scribblings is fine. Slightly longer mag reigns. It kind of incentivizes us to to fire those out early. Uh, it's a little risky putting putting minor cleansing charm on our frontliner just because of stuns from uh, from front mortar. Hey, thank you, thank you so much. I, I apologize uh, if if you want to give me a, a little bit of guidance on how to pronounce your name. I would, uh, I would happily, but thank you so much for the kind words, and uh, welcome on into uh, to the live, the live version of the things that we do. Lament the knowledge taken by the fires of these fanatics. All right, so let's see. So who did did I do? Yeah, I think you and you and RC are gonna lose it. Slightly annoying. A promising development. Ooh, that looked. I think they they tweaked that. Uh, they tweaked the animation on Magnesium Rain with that miss. The tempo on that was faster than I'm used to. In fact, the animations maybe seem a little snappier in general, maybe. This team's got some moves. In this world, Anthony, very, very nice to meet you, Anthony. Welcome on in. I think it's a little faster, or maybe I'm moving in slow motion. That's the other possibility. <laughs> Perhaps I'm moving in slow motion. Now, our combat items are not spectacular for uh, for the Librarian. But I think we'll, we'll probably still try and do it. Hey, Cravalo! Welcome in, welcome in. That's my that's my girl. <laughs> it's nine AM for me, maybe I'm feeling sleepy. I mean stranger things have happened. But it, I I do think it just feels a little faster. What's the, what, are we playing a game right now that has like, oh, you know what I bet it is? This is, this is going to be a, a hot take. Oh yeah. It is, well, 930 now. Uh, but yes, it is, it is 930 in the morning here.
it... Uh, no, it probably isn't that. I, I was thinking, like, I have been playing some Bellatro on the side, and Bellatro's animations are sometimes a little sluggish. Oh, advanced now. Oh, I love that. Hey, okay. That's the first place where the click and hold makes a lot of sense to me. Oh, really? You're going to one-off me? Uh, Bellatro on 0.5x. Yeah, indeed. It's... I mean, it's... The, the meta of being able to look at your... Look at your Joker's proc to fix things is really nice, though. When, when you're playing on a... You're playing on a boss blind where you don't know. You don't know where your Jokers are because they've been shuffled. Critical, critical intel available. After our, our switch to uh, Central EST a couple of days ago, we'll be nine hours off. Holy smokes. Let's see. Let's just poke you there. Beautiful. All right. You're not going to make it, buddy. You're not going to make it. I guess there's there's not really any recovery we can do here. Okay, nerfed swig not in the cards for us. I'll get used to the, the click and hold eventually. Okay, good good RNG on book stacks. We like it. But what's the what's the correct play here? I think we try and mitigate that, and then I do think we set up the repost. Ugh, I didn't want to hit that hard though. Hmm. Worried about a crit here? Okay. We risked it. We were one off. That's okay. Good job. Even with the resist, I'm, I'm not too mad. Missing out on the Iron Swan is a bit of a, a bit of a bummer. At some point, we're going to need to switch these two so we can start getting some, some big hits in with our, uh, with our friendo here. We're going to need... Right now, you can't do much. Yeah, so let's just do that. Keep those going. Okay, I think it's time... Time we swap. We're not quite at the point yet where... Okay, good to get rid of the dodge at least. We're going to need to probably do a heal here though.
Kirin Kappa doing some work. Oh, the resist on the bleed there is bad manners. Yeah, stealing his tokens feels like a like a tempo loss that I'm a little worried about, Rose. But we got to we got to start moving here for sure. GG. Oh, we just got a candle. I should have checked hero goals. That's right. That's a that's an impactful thing now. Hold on. So let's see. Uh Reward candles, reward candles, reward candles. I thought I thought we were going to start getting more interesting hero goals. Hmm. Maybe I need to go back and reread that part of the uh that part of things. Let's see. So most likely to go first is probably you. Put that there. How are sacred scribblings not flammable? Game. Why? Seems like an oversight. A bunch of scrolls that are not flammable? Question mark. So let's see. For now, we're going to have to rely on someone else for the healing and go for that. So let's see, we can get ourselves a stagecoach item for 12 relics. Or just go for combat items. Let's just get combat items. Scavenge what you can. Okay, milk soaked linen probably not what we were looking for. The unknown awaits. Be wary. Okay, let's get some mastery going here. Hello, 22. How are you doing? The fiend's strength dwindles. Mm, that probably is enough. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Picking up that stress is really good because now we, we delay a little bit. Good enough heal for us to leave. All right. So wait, what is the difference between combustible and flammable? Because I remember the, I remember the idea that flammable and inflammable are the are essentially the same. If if I recall correctly. But I'm trying to I'm trying like. I would, based on the game's semantics. All of the other things that are tagged as flammable are things that burn. So let's see. It's got to be you and Lustrous. Yep, got to do this. But that puts uh, RC a little behind on relationships. Inlustrous, you are a monster at the moment. I just want to say for the record. 
Like, what is what is causing you to be such a gnarly, gnarly individual at the moment? One off, of course. Your crit rate is just off the charts at the moment. That's all there is, apparently, to say. Yeah, and we require plus five, so we're not doing much here. Guess we just fish for crits. Love, love to see it. Pick up a little more mastery. We've done, a, like, the thing that I'm always most concerned about with these Shambler spawn runs is, one, getting actual trinkets that make the Shambler spawn worth the, the price of admission. And then, two, is having, uh, having access to, to cultists. I think we just start hacking away at this guy. Let us hope to finish this quickly. There we go. So at least in here, let's see. Flammable, so that to explain the subtle difference between substances, flammable liquids will ignite and burn easily at normal temperatures, whereas combustible liquids are less are less volatile substances. Hmm. That that barely helped. That barely helped. So now that they've overhauled the, the, like, goals section of this, I think what they should do is, at each inn, if you accomplish a goal, they should give you a new goal. I think that would be really cool. So let's see, you... Yeah, you need help with Legion. Legion, are you... Yeah, you're, you're pretty good other than that one, so we'll do that. So I, I never like to attribute differences to, like, the patch, but I do feel like we've hit this mash, like, every time. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll put up the taunt. I won't be greedy. Game's just messing with me. I would never put it past the game. Woo! Bleed out. You hit hard sometimes. I think... I think we can pretty safely put that on... So right now you. Turn start, 15% chance of strength, gain on miss. Eh. 
I think the rogue may be my new favorite uh, highwayman path. I will say, because I think I think sharp shot does not have. Sharp shot could be given back at speed, and I expect that it will be, with the uh, with the rebalance of of the highwayman. I expect they'll give sharp shot back the speed, but not enough speed to en enable snappy swag. This fight doesn't really require much in the way of of taunt. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Better face your confessions than blind. Okay, you're dead. These backliners are, are hanging on something fierce. Bad time. Straightforward. We're definitely gonna take the crit off this guy. I don't think there's any way we. Oh, we steal it. My crit. Oh, ho. oh, oh yeah. We haven't upgraded that yet. We should get on upgrading that probably. Let's just do this and mitigate a little bit of stress there, because we weren't gonna get the kill here regardless. I think we take the one more, here's what we do. We take the one more stress because we have the Book of Body Tales. So we'll, we'll do that and then we'll let, we'll let it die. So that's just six pips of stress. We don't have far to the inn and then we have a six stress item that we bought with candles. Selfish motivation. It's, it's just, it's the worst one. It's the worst one. On a leper, it's not all bad. Tempest Leper does well with selfish motivation, but... The heart calls out to the weary. Come on, big money, no negative interactions, RC. Just chill. We got a positive interaction. Wow. Resolute guaranteed. No, RC isn't rusty, so... Blundering yips and slippery. Big oof on that one. Blocked by sprained wrist is kind of a bummer. Guess we'll do that. Okay, so three is three is not great. Is the greatest teacher of all. Where are we going next? Planning and mindfulness. We're sluicing it up. Okay, so I, I've I've come around to liking Pot and Still quite a bit. If first in turn order plus five damage, if last in turn order plus one stress. The decimal system is my least favorite. The plating is patched. The coach stands ready once more. I don't think you can remove quirks with can for can uh, with candles. Uh, you can re-roll them though. Okay, so let's see. So big money, big money dirges.
Dirge did not get nerfed. Dirge needs a nerf. <laughs> Alright, our relationships are set for the rest of the run. Spend what you can. Let's see. No longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. I think we buy gnarly knuckles. And we could get some flapjacks going if we wanted to. I think we roll the dice on a couple meditative totems. Who let's let's see if we can. Yeah, so that was the first one on the list. So we're not gonna get down to sprain wrist. I'll work towards it though. Okay, so we got three to do here. I think we get toe to toe. An iron swan. And I think I also am going to grab point blank shot. It's a weird, that's a weird, gra some weird grabs, but I have, I have a plan. And I think we'll just do that. And then... We could grab some playing cards for tactical thinking options. I'm going to grab I'm going to grab the wax inoculant and give everyone disease resist because we're going in the sluice. I did want to upgrade highway robbery. Hopefully we'll do that on the far side of the sluice. Let's get some laudanum and then yeah, chalk dust does not lie seems interesting to me. But yeah, I I have a plan. So I think I'm going to do a bit more shuffling and use point blank shot. Playing hard or hardly playing? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Uh, P.S. We're uh, we're trying out the new update to Darkest Dungeon, which uh, which so far I'm I'm pretty impressed with. I I like the changes that they've made. Let's see. Do we want to use selfish motivation? I'm going to try putting it on her. Actually, we'll do... We'll do that. We don't care that much about the burning, so we'll do that. I think we'll put Curing Kappa there, and we'll toss that there. So the thinking with this is, when she gets blind, it's not the end of the world. Why did that dark... Why was that? Did I put that dark impulse on there? That was weird. But when she when she gets blind, it's not the end of the world. But she gets when she does toe to toe, she gets a bunch of taunt, which potentially means that we're gonna have a bunch of negative tokens. So maybe we can make that work a little bit. Nice pickup there with some smoke bombs. Okay, let's get some cultist encounters. Yeah, it's it's a weird thing though now, PS, because I I didn't expect them to like backdate our candles, but I have I have four thousand candles. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what to do with that information. Oh, I wanted to switch these two. That was a mistake. So that weak perfectly counters act, counteracts the benefit that we were otherwise going to get. I guess I walked into the, the double mutate shenanigans. Yeah. Is 
Nice armor break. That was clutch. See, so now we have three tokens, which means she's going to get a nice, well, oh, yes. Well, the, the weaken, the weaken kind of hurts it overall, but like, that's a lot of negative tokens, hypothetically. Seventeen to thirty-five damage. <laughs> okay, maybe there's something to this. Maybe there's something to this. Excellent work. I think we've built more roguely than anything else. Like, I, I feel like rogue would work better than yellow hand, but maybe, maybe that's wrong. We are, we are cruising right now. Yep, we're putting, we're putting in some numbers. For sure. Ooh, double mastery proc. Nice, 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 nice. The loathing of base. So I haven't seen the reroll option yet. I thought there was going to be an encounter reroll option, but maybe I misread that part of things. If anyone has seen that and is lurking, I'm kind of curious about it. Long straightaway here. What do you think, Wilbur or Skeever? You don't really need them. You guys need them a little more. So we'll do it that way. Neither. I really I I really wanted to switch these two. You love it when it gives you the blind, right? Wilbur is never expected. I mean, that is a valid point. Oh, you guys are going to get so ceiling spaghetti. It's not even funny. Where did this blind come from? You're dead. You're dead. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. HP trinket, not really what we're looking for. An elementary problem, is it not? Show me a, give me a cultist encounter, please, and thank you. Maybe two. Yeah, it, it is weird playing playing with a team that actually does damage with some with some consistency. Damage is going ham. I'll I'll try and remember to use that as my uh as my Ah oh, wait, do we want do we want blight? No, we don't. I'll I'll try and remember to use that as the episode name for this one. That's super good. I love that, Andrea. Uh let's see. 
How many candles do you currently have in inventory? Maybe because the reroll is higher. So can I only use click and hold hero to make a selection? So I have, I mean, I have five candles in inventory, but so I don't get access to the 4,000 candles that I have, Andy, because I have 4,000 candles back, uh, back at base, but I guess we don't carry those all around with us. Oh, the speed on these suckers. Yeah, no turn one howl is is merciful. Hate that though. Hastened enemies are annoying here for sure, but we won't we won't take the uh, we won't take the crit, which is nice. And we did get the blind before the howl, so we got that going for us. Oof. And Disappointing. Of the unprepared. Good job, Wax and Oculence. What is what is going Oh, it's the Dewey Decimal system that's that's messing us up here. Our, our slow plague doctor is uh, is struggling. That's what's going on. So I would like... I would like to get rid of this guy ASAP. And Lustrous, you are dropping absolutely monster attacks. Oh, that stun is dirty. I'm gonna be on the safe side here. I don't want to get like a random weird crit taking us out and I'm not super worried about her. That makes me feel pretty good about the decision that I made. Double it and give it to the next person. Not having a... Not having the ability... Like, we're going to run out of heals here, which I'm a little worried about. Agony by accumulation. Because we don't have... Uh, what is it called? We don't have Adrenaline Rush. So I'm, I'm going to stop taunting on her. An interminable conflict. Weaken them that another may finish the work. Okay, 
Okay, he did. She was just below half there. Ooh, gosh. Freaking Plague Doctor. So good in every incarnation. Deals 10% damage to target. Convert vulnerable to that, that to that, that to that. Hmm. This might have changed. Mm, produce restorative items is nice. I think that goes there. Because we're going to be creating some bleed. So I think that's good. We can get rid of that entirely. This is fine here for now. We could... We got to switch those. Those should have been switched sooner. All right. I think we're good. Surgeon on the cut. Indeed, Tarlo. Indeed. 17 leagues to go. I swear, I can't, I can't find a cultist encounter to save my life when it, uh, when it counts. Ooh, so like, click and hold to make a selection. So I can't click this. Yeah, maybe we have to have more candles on us to do the, uh, to do the rerolls. Ambushed. By foul invention. A master stroke. So what's your opinion on buying things pre-run? I feel like it might be a tad insane considering most people have thousands of candle sword. I'm I'm not super bothered by that. I think the people who have played that much, like I'm not I'm not super concerned at that point. I also think that the RNG of it makes me very unlikely to like actually care to do it too much. Like it doesn't like there's so many trinkets. You're never going to get the one that you're looking for. So it's just kind of like it's like, okay, cool. You know, there's a... There's a... You know, you can pick up a trinket here or a trinket there, but I it, I don't think it's gonna... It's gonna move the needle much at all. Like, you might get the occasional lucky... Lucky stagecoach pull. Like, you know, you might get, like, a trinket organizer in Region 1, which I think is fun and can make for some interesting dynamics, but I don't think it's gonna change much. It does give indelible ones, though. You can uh, sort of mold your run on what you get, which I think is good. Like, I think that's a that's a net positive. Like, being able to tailor your run a little bit to a nice RNG pop, I think is a really good thing, and it shows skill in the game and kind of, like, understanding how to play it effectively. But rolling trinkets will help you decide what team to play, which I think is also fun, right? Like, I think, I think it... Actually, to put it slightly differently, right? So you get a trinket that you know works well on a particular hero, and that kind of forces you into maybe picking an archetype you otherwise wouldn't have. So I kind of like the variance that it that it adds. I mean... Can't really say no, can I? When the Shambler calls, we answer. We tread beyond the realms of reason. The shuffle was pretty bad for us, admittedly. Oh, the resist. We hit it and then we lose it. Stinks, but. On 
to the next. Oh yeah, we are we are doing the the enhanced shambler right now too, aren't we? Hmm, I forgot all about that. Maybe this is going to get pretty exciting. That's a bummer. Bravo. Okay. Definitely danger zone. Amazing work. We're in for 13 out of 20. We're still in the danger zone, for sure. Shredding our relationships, too. Okay, no, no, no joy. But if we can if we can handle their solutions, even the big ones. A master stroke. Hold fast, for who knows what lurks in the beyond. Who, you've lost a lot of relationship with Legion. An interminable conflict. And you kind of need this fight to be over.
I think I, I need to get a little bit more healing off. All right. Well, that might have been... I don't think that's the first time we've done the Enhanced Shambler, but I did forget that we were, we were running Shambler spawn, so... The fact that we survived at all is probably good for business. When stress damaged, add one positive token. All right. So yeah, so a lot of the Songbook of Touching Dirge's benefit that we got is now uh, erased. <laughs> but we'll, we'll try to recover. We also don't have that much cash flow, so... We'll do the best we can. Relationships aren't in shambles, but they, they're close. Really, it's really that seven that we need to work on. There are yet places such as this, where a little light still gathers. Okay. They're really loading us up with negative relationships, I feel like. Ooh, okay, well, I'd forgotten about that. All right, let's see if this further ruins that relationship, the seven. All right, yeah, was not great. Go, go, gadget, schadenfreude. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. <laughs> love, love the name. Does that mean you're a Last Spell fan? I, I suspect it might. All right, so let's see. What are we working with? We got a 13 here and a 9 here. So let's get, let's push the 13 over. That's RC and Legion. And then... The worst relationship that remains is in Lustrous RC. So we'll do that. That can go there. Put that there and that there. Learn what can be taught, that you may stand no, it's it's more of a general sentiment. Okay, fair enough. It's are are you aware that in the last spell, uh, the the final bosses are uh, Schaden and Freuda though? It is one of one of my favorite games uh, in the last little while and there is going to be a dlc for it coming out very soon so it, it would be a good time to get into it as well yeah spoiler alert on the fact that that schaden and freuda are the bosses but uh it's uh it's it's a really if you like kind of uh gosh how do you even describe it it's it's kind of like they are billions but your heroes are but with like a very like rpg driven like you have a you have a mist around you enemies are coming in from the mist you're building up heroes to defend your uh to defend yourself etc it's a great game though for sure let's see fishmonger's gloves are kind of an interesting take at half price where are we going next consider your position naked and afraid for a mastery probably isn't it So we are going bleed, so... Yeah, turn-based horde survival is a great is a great catchphrase for it. There there is some numbers involved, and actually on my YouTube we uh we delve pretty deeply into said numbers. Uh I think I'm gonna try and do some some meditative totems here. Because we can hopefully get rid of your sprained wrist. Oh, really? You're gonna do me dirty with the 267 misses? Alright, well, we got it eventually. Alright, let's see. What are we getting for upgrades now? I think Adrenaline Rush getting the upgrade is a good idea. Duelist Advance, I think I'm using more. She blinded me with indiscriminate science. Burning stars gets the upgrade. Binding shadows is still good, but let's let's get bleed out going because for certain situations that'll be good. Yes, does have some base building elements too. That is a good point. Yeah, I think I want to be producing restorative items, so I don't think I can I can let that go. But these fishmongers gloves, I, aren't the gnarly knuckles serrated? Yes, yeah, so let's grab the fishmonger's gloves. Cuz we can we can pair those up there and that means our bleeds will be landing. Sacred scribblings is fine, but it's not it's not really what we're looking for. And it's not flammable. Still sad about that. You can go, you can go, you can go. Do we If we had someone slow, 
like our Plague Doctor, we could technically put Unblinking Entropy and use it with the Dewey Decimal System, but don't know that we need to do that. We're not... Do we have... We have other things that we want to get rid of, too, right? We got rid of that. The Yips is going to take forever to get rid of. I'm, I am going to buy that last one. Just to see if we can clean things up a touch more. Okay. One, one less is one less. We'll take that. We take those. Have I already done food? Yes, it looks like I have done food. So I'm, I'm not gonna, we might grab one more. Yeah, we have no, we have no fire resist. So getting silver eyes max HP up a little bit, I think is good. But let's, let's save what little money we have left. Cause we, if we run into an early shop, we're gonna be sad about it. Okay. Let's see what we're working with. Just two relationships this time. Took a bit of a relationship hit. Having to click and hold on. This one doesn't make sense to be a click and hold because there's there's no, there's no like, what are you thinking about? What are you gonna do differently at that point? You can't go back to the end. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have a cultist fight. We can potentially do a bunch of cultist fights, it looks like. So that's probably the plan. Let's get a little bit of travel healing, hopefully, before the cultist fight happens. <laughs> so we're not going in on our on our back heal, but But yeah, I'm so I'm so so stoked for the DLC update for the last spell. See, so the, the the relationship that we are sad about right now is in Lustrous RC, which we can't do anything about. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't upgrade, uh... I didn't upgrade my, my steel yet. Dang it. We had all those mastery points, too. Now ah, we'll get it next time. Here comes the crit. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Excellent work. This wound at least has been tended to. Oh, really did not expect the low roll on that one. One and one. What are the what are the chances? Fifteen from a toe to toe is is no slouch though. Dewey Decimal System is eating us alive though. I'm gonna let this I'm gonna let this guy hang around for one. So that we can hopefully get a nice heal here before we're done.
<laughs> 47. <laughs> Temptation, we're not going to roll. I might I might do healing given, healing taken. The ones haunt me. What can I say in Lustrous? But yeah, having, having anyone be slow, really... Dewey Decimal System is almost more of a negative than a positive sometimes, I feel like. I, I love the fact that it's blind every time, though. That's my that's my favorite facet of, uh, of what is it? Which one is it? Selfish motivation. It just gives you blind tokens. Anyone who says otherwise is crazy. An opportunity squandered. Our damage is on point, though. I mean, our team isn't that slow, though, is it? Like, like our our plague doctor is is at speed four, which is not terrible. I kind I kind of feel like I'm getting a bum a bum rap here because this this team is not super slow, but like you know, even just a songbook of rousing tunes would basically negate the effects of it. All right, let's see. Do we have any? Combat items that would be helpful for the librarian. Yes to that. Yes to that, but I'm not sure. Ooh, elite enemies. The library burns. And with it, the remains of philosophy. A big part of a big part of the issue though is uh, is anemic. Also, anemic has been causing us to go last, perhaps more than we should. Yeah, actually, I think that's what's going on. I think it's it's anemic that's causing all of the stress to kind of pile up there. Well, I had this plan to point blank shot this guy, but say la vie. Bravo. Where are my crits on bleeding targets? That is the question. Figured Grape Shot had two chances for a crit. I really like the conf the conf confirmation dialogue there, though. I think that's that is a great change. Skills wise. I, there's some adjustments I should have made, I think. In terms of, of our skill set. But I do think we've also gotten stronger, so we'll probably be okay.
Ooh, 22 point bleed out. Holy smokes. application of violence yields more gains. <sighs> early experiments is the wrong one where's my me melee trinket we'll, we'll do it just for the complete catalog he teeters madly upon his ladder reveling in the fiery destruction of human accomplishment okay 12 is a little scary there So if we do three damage with this, this is going to do one to two. So we would have to crit, and that's a 5%. So... Good stuff. That's my girl. Since we don't even know if we're going to hit here, I'm going to do Demon Pull instead. Uh, we have Milk Soaked Linen. Again, I don't want to... I don't want to move her because the Iron Swan is so juicy. So, we'll do that instead. Now is a good time as I need to swap these two. Now we we took the Iron Swans meant that we didn't have good defense, but we'll try to make up for that now. Great hit through the dodge. I was going to say, miss would be great here. <laughs> no, no such luck. Oh my gosh, if we could get a hit off here. <laughs> the tokens, oh, they're all gone now. He's going to get one more cheeky hit in, unfortunately. Yeah. And we didn't we didn't get to do any recovery. I was kind of hoping we would get a little bit of recovery there. But we just take it all. And then... Yeah, we can't make early experiments work. So ally ahead gains speed. This, the hasten history, I'm so interested in. I think there's a lot of cool things that can be done with that. Hospital with 82 bucks? Yes, we will take it. Also, just as a side note, we're rocking Surgeon's Kit and we have not gotten a single, uh, a single restorative item, I don't think. Oh, except maybe we got, maybe we got milk-soaked linen. Is that technically restorative? No, it's woven. So no, I don't think we've gotten a single one. So how many candles do we need to get before we can reroll things? <laughs> that's, I guess that's the big question. 
Okay, what do we got here? I do want these. Just as, as a safety thing. And then... The yips must go. Anemic must go. And then do we have... Clutch hitter, Bonvedant, and Calm. Not really that interesting. Neat Freak, Gentry, Pillager, Fearing. Even the worst habit can be overcome. Get rid of that. All right, we are broke, but I'm at peace with it. Think carefully. We. Today's oversight is tomorrow's regret. We're going, we're going heavy, heavy Oblivion's Ingress, so I don't think it really matters which way we go. Broken Clock. Is, is there a stopwatch in our, uh, in our future? We don't have great stun resist to enable it. Just got an email stating that DD2 devs are participating in Triple I Initiative. Email said they have a big announcement. Yes, Rusty. And we still have no freaking idea what it is. Because they... Like, if you go to the website, there's just nothing there. <laughs> it's... It's slightly frustrating. I just, we just don't know what it means. Well, we alpha strike that team, but... Pairing Patriar? Yeah, I, I've gone to their website, that website a few times, and to my knowledge, there's never been any actual information there to, to tell us what the deal is. Actually, let's put that here. Actually, we can, we can take down her stress a bit that way. But yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. The the list of the list of games on that website is super impressive. But a place of research and inquiry. Let's see. Heal five stress. We'll take the trinket. Come on, stopwatch. Sundial. Your coach is laden. Sundial is still good. We'll put that there. That can go. I Let's move away from burn stuff, just because that's an easy set of things to get rid of. Okay, now we go hard left. The destination's never in question. Only the route you take to get there. Okay, so this says provisions. Okay. That was some masterful piloting. I just missed everything. But yeah, is there more information on the website now? Chalk dust. By the impending apocalypse, the fanatics burn book and building alike. Now, putting the sundial on Silver Eye right now is a little bit of a risk because if we get two bad 10% procs, we're we're in trouble. But let's see, steel relics for flame. We could probably get away with it. Sorry for robbing you. Silver Silver Eye needs to calm down on the uh, on the stress front. We did pick up more laudanum, so we're just gonna we're gonna hit her with eight laudanum. <laughs> I do think just because it's it's totally my luck, we are I am going to temporarily Swap the sundial out. The avatars of oblivion. Minimal information at best. They like their secrets, indeed. So, dumb question. Uh, would I get a horrible quirk like Lost in Space when I actively choose to fight the Shambler and not flee? Uh, it is That is a possibility. That is a possible outcome. Uh, you can certainly get some nasty quirks, but, uh, but it's not guaranteed. It is not guaranteed. Guaranteed. 
That was a that was a surprisingly clutch bleed right there. No good deed goes unpunished. Extremely true. The uh, the doggo is more annoying than the uh, than the pillager. Hot take. That hopefully no one would ever disagree with me on. Like that just seems like common sense. There we go. She's back under control. Don't think we need that. Okay, two more opportunities for cultist trinkets. I think selfish motivation would be a good one. Wait, no, we have selfish motivation. Jealous whispers. Is that the speed one? I think that's the speed one. Okay, we now have eight candles. Oh, wait. Minus six candles. Oh. Minus six candles, but we gain party strength and hero block. Kind of cool. I'm not going to do it, but it's kind of cool. Hey, Zero. Uh, there, there's no equivalent of torchless runs uh, in, in the sense that they existed in the first Darkest Dungeon would would be what I would, my, my answer to that. Right now, we're not running a torch. We will eventually. A promising development. Uh, we'll, we'll get back into it, but I just wanted to see the new stuff. And apply it judiciously. Yeah, I wanted to see what the new the new goodies looked like. Good hit. Could we find a way to put... We could probably find a way to put Parrying Patriar on him. So that that was a boon more than a reroll. So I, I don't know if, if there's a distinction between the two. But that that didn't look like a reroll per se. But maybe it was. But it looks like it was six. But I've had six for a while. So I'm not sure... Not sure what the deal is there. I think we could blow this guy up. All right, not with that attitude. With that attitude. Uh, so they've they redid all of the nomenclature for paths. Zero. So now everybody is in the like Vestal path mode. If you're uh, if you're familiar with the game, basically they changed the way that they they explained paths, and so now they've updated everyone without rebalancing everyone. And they uh, they also they modified the Shambler spawn, which is why we're running it at the moment. And then they added a bunch of end game ways to spend candles. Like at the beginning of your expedition, you can get a. Uh, you can get trinkets by spending candles that are like that you've collected and those types of things. Yep. This is this is the way in Lustrous. This is the way. Jealous Whispers. So this is movement positive tokens. We we like that, I think. Yeah, the crits the crits are popping off on this run, Andy. For sure. So let's see. So this one, Jealous Whisper, I think we can put here. And I think we're gonna do we're gonna do this so that we have more options for movement. Do we wanna do anything with curing cuppa? I think I put Sundial back here now that we have stress under control. I think and I think curing cuppa doesn't get utilized. Now, if we're gonna be dodging about a lot, the parrying patriarch is nice. I think I'll stick with Spike Skull Cap for now though. Oh, we do need to get rid of something. 
Get rid of that. Don't think this is a team for Hastened. Telex7, thank you for the follow. Welcome on into the community. Appreciate it. The more the merrier. The loathing whispers. Hold on a second. Lost my lost my piloting for a moment there. A lot of a lot of stuff here. A lot of I'm, I keep collecting candles because I think at some point they're gonna like transform everything. But that's good enough. Let's do this. So we got vulnerable for them. Okay. So yeah. So you don't even always get the option. This is my moment. Good hit. If that had been crits, we would have been they would have been gooder. <laughs> Double horror. Do we still have a laudanum? Not sure we do. That was weird. Jealous Whisper. When moving, add one positive token. What uh what positive token did we get there? Not sure. Probably should have used the uncheck power for something different. Crits are crits are overrated. I did have one laudanum. I did not use it though. Oh, crit anyways. Cool. Very cool. Very legal. The horror doesn't seem to be ticking. Is that just me? I'll remove it anyways, but that seems a little weird. Yowza. That was, that was some impressive uh, token generation right there. Not the move I would have chosen at uh, at 12 bleed, etc. Incremental, but deadly all the same. I don't think we can get any value out of this. Well, we could we could fish for some crits at least. So this is a 100% chance to crit. Oh yeah, because we have a crit token, obviously. There we go. Sweet reprieve. Ah, oh, boo. This put before you. The loathing. All right, hoarder. Right here. Vintage collection, I'll take that. I'll take a vintage collection. Do we want blood or wine? Tough decision. I think wine. That probably means we can cap out all our relationships. Rummage through the shelves, laden with echoes of indistinct ideas. Strange wines or oh well, strange wines or stress. I don't know what quirk you can get from this. That is interesting. How how much is it actually gonna impact things? We'd be able to finish off this relationship. Ah, yeah, we, we need the wines. And Lustrous and RC are just 
not at not having a good time. Oh, she becomes generous. Okay. So let's see. What do we get rid of now? Carrying around these candles. At some point I probably should use them. Controversial opinion or something. Uh-oh. Our coach is no longer armored. Disaster. We have so many whiskey barrels. Send her to the Shadow Realm, hopefully. Alright, no dice. Yeah, oh yeah. They're gonna eviscerate us. That was a scary hit. Given that we're gonna have to heal, I think I, I think I focus on on dealing other damage here and also get the uh, the dodge token. I'm worried about weight of the worlds happening before we get a chance to do anything else. So that was the thinking there. Great freaking hit. Holy cow. Okay. One one worship sorted. Two to three is not it. So if I'm just putting bleed on someone, let's put bleed on him, and we're going to rely on you to kill her, which you did. Not sh he could high roll speed, and I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. Twenty two on a toe to toe. What? A little help impeccably timed. And he's just below half, so we can we can hit him one more time. So at least the HP wise, we're gonna look good. We're gonna have some work to do on our stress, it seems. Oh, this is juicy. <laughs> uh, it wasn't as big as I expected it to be. The unrelenting application All right. Morbid gains. This is it a hidden buff for the candle storage luxury item? Oh, unquestionably, yes, it is. Yeah, no, I. It's like I think that the so far it hasn't been that impactful silver eye do we want to do i'm kind of enjoying selfish motivation but we could go like selfish motivation missed up and you have 88 hit points i think the healing is actually better but we'll, we'll hang on to it because we want to force things and then i was thinking for legion maybe we do go parrying patriarch oops we are full There we go. 
Miss out on some bandages, not the end of the world. Uh, immediate stimulants coming in hot. I'm the crow's nest. I th don't think is going to do anything because of the shambler spawn. What is the actual text of the shambler spawn? Mine is 100% location scouting. We might get a tiny bit of location scouting with it. I think Chard Litany can go though. Soothing Polstice will not be utilizable for the rest of the run. I guess technically on the final boss, it does occasionally burn. Rest now for a time. Okay, so RC, you, you and Illustrious get two wines, I think. Actually, let's uh, let's run. Let's run back the barrel of whiskey and see what relationships get broken by this. All right, now we continue down this path. And is 16 our floor right now? Yes, it is. All right, so our 16s are in Lustrous Silver Eye and in Lustrous RC. War paint's gonna be war paint's gonna be good, but maybe we save it for nah. We probably don't save it for later. Okay, before I forget, let's get highway robbery upgraded. Hey, Curvion. Yeah, I, I like it. I'm I'm impressed so far. I think it. Uh, I think they did some really smart things, and I like the I like the end game that they're going for. We're still occasionally using play grenades, so I'll do that. And I'll do binding shadows. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. The wild teas look pretty tempting. We don't really need the songbook of touching dirges. I think literally we may max all of our relationships. No. Okay. And Lustrous is too behind with everyone. So let's just do. One of these hopefully will proc a two. They will not. Yeah, so we'll use do we want to use the war paint on this region? Every road a winding torment. Visit an oasis. Bent on our destruction. We'll do the shroud without the plan for for actually doing that, I guess. We hit really hard. Let's buy one food. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. And then we could probably The wild teas are tempting. Let's just buy two and and just take two off the off the list. I'm not super worried about gentry fearing or pillager fearing. Let's get neat freak and fussy eater. Save this for the boss. Time I'm gonna put parrying patriarch there. Why is the Wainwright still telling me that there's stuff to do here? Oh, because we can equip this. Swap these. Yeah, decimal system. You suck. And then we have 12 left. Stack of Laudanum is probably somewhat protective. So we'll grab that. Okay. We're headed into the Shroud. We have a bleed team. We missed one relationship. We have, I, it was probably our one that was at 19 rather than 20. So, good things are happening. I'm, 
corrupted. I'm inclined to go for the Leviathan. What a rarity to see candles in inventory. Yeah, I kind of hate it. They're so far, so far they're they're clogging up my inventory and not offering that much in return. Not not saying that that can't change, but. Whoa. Did we got double watchtower? <laughs> double rainbow all the way. And if we want one watchtower and this cultist, we have to do both of them. All right, I guess we're doing both of them cuz I I do want this cultist. So down the middle we go. It's a weird one. Well, we do also get a speed buff. In Lustrous. So, so the speed buff is going to be at least a little nice. So I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm moving Legion back because now we like we like doing Duelist Advance because our dodge get upgraded by pairing Patriarch. Oh, imagine how awesome it would be if there was like a left turn that just showed up. And you're like, oh, all of a sudden. Early results are encouraging. Why didn't I get a negative token for her? So see, we get we get some improved dodge out of that. I was hoping we would secure both these kills, but. <laughs> oh, and Lustrous. Why are you such a monster? The smallest variable can make all the difference. Oh, we got the two stress proc there, not the heal. I, I was anticipating the heal. <laughs> So strong, sh strong shackles has changed. Apply on hit, gain on hit. Pretty interesting. I don't think we use it, but it's pretty interesting. But yeah, where's the where's the lair? We're gonna go here to here. Yeah, then we're gonna go up this path. Okay. Yeah, because there is that double bleed. Leviathan trophy that I'm at least curious about. Incubate away, little incubator. <laughs> the improved dodges, they do nothing. On to the next. Close, but no cigar. I did that fishing for the easily resolved. Fishing for the the power. I love the the way these guys wind up. So good. Oh, another freaking unbelievable. That 10% is hitting 100% of the time. Kind of a bummer. Messy. 
not effective. Two freaking watchtowers in a row. I'm not sure what Shambler trophies we want at this point. We could potentially toss, or not a, not Shambler, but Cultist. Oh, Hero get two dodge for six candles. We have four candles currently. And I think, I think a vulnerable token is good enough with this team. We don't need a lot of dodge if we're going to be able to blow most things up with uh, with our early attacks. Let us hope to finish this quickly. We'll, we'll see how much of a difference it actually makes. freaking hit gimme 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 So that's probably the one hit that we took that we wouldn't have taken if we had spent the candles. So I, I think that that was the correct decision. Twenty-three to thirty-five. But yeah, we're cruising. We're cruising a little bit. Disappointing hull there. I want all the cultist trinkets. But yeah, if we got the uh, hundred percent. 100% resist debuff. I, is that Lockjaw? I think that's Lockjaw. I might put that on RC, just so we could start using Play Grenade as well if we wanted to. It would give us a lot of flexibility. But we would be taking a hit. Well, I mean, I guess the gloves... Yeah, the gloves are kind of a minor improvement, so... I can't see how full our inventory is, because I keep popping stuff up in front of it. Okay, let's see if I made a good choice. We missed a hospital. Mm. The hoarder apparently has already passed. We can do another shambler. I don't really want to do another shambler. Well, we don't have a choice in the matter right now. There's so many road battles right now on this map. It's a sea of red. Oh, what a weird mash. Holy cow. Let's see. 8 to 14. 6 to 13. 18% crit. 13% crit. Let's do that. We unfortunately don't have a blind at the moment. The enemy weakens and wanes. In case in case this guy runs. Mild shock. Uh, 
This is gonna be a big hit. Okay. Could have been worse. No, uh, no hoarders bumming me out a little bit. But yeah, our slowest member is going to be at six speed after this, which is pretty decent. So I want to look here. So how many spots were there actually? So the hoarder had to be here or here, I guess, or here. Those were the only options. So, okay, so here's the thing. Do you really want another shambler? We're super not equipped for it. Yeah, we're, we're poorly equipped for a Shambler right now because we have no smoke bombs. And we already did one Mama Shambler. So I think we'll go Unsettling Portrait instead. We do miss out on an Oblivion's Ingress, but that last Shambler was, was a little brutal. Speedy boys. What is causing Inlustrous to stress heal? Not entirely sure. Your sadistic nature. Sounds sounds on brand. Taking five out of seven. It's like, that's probably the right way to go. All right, the blind is, is awkward, but not awkward in any, in a place that we are worried about it. Oh my gosh. Keep it going. One more. One more extra turn. Okay. <laughs> A righteous action. The past is gone. Let it die. Oh, you're running an aggressor crusader right now. Uh Go go gadget Schadenfreude. What's up? What's the comp that you're running right now? Because I ran, I ran a, a Crusader last week. I don't think I ran. Maybe I ran Aggressor. I don't actually remember which Crusader I ran, but I ran it in a burn comp, and uh, it was fun. Like we ran Runaway Crusader, Plague Doctor. Okay, so what do we get here? We get two signature, or wait, a signature in item, a stagecoach item. 30 flame for eight candles. Maybe it's time we actually cash one of these in. But also, can we talk about, like, why would someone disagree with this? This is supposed to be an all good thing. Whatever, we'll take it. Okay. Disease removal. Bottle case we're not that excited about. But there we go. We spent some candles for the first time. Now, we got a cash or an assistance. So we could... We can go left here, get another Oblivion's Ingress into an Assistance Encounter into this. I don't really care about the cash, and the Unsettling Portrait I don't care about. So let's go Oblivion's Ingress. Breacher, Breacher, Arsonist, Aggressor, uh, Alchemist, Venom Drop. Nice. So the question is, if we get offered the double bleed, do we take it? <laughs> I, I Like, do we use it? 
there's there's a temptation for sure it would only be for the final region but we could probably get some big blight some big uh numbers going with that okay so right now legion and lustrous are one off so one of the two of them will do this get them back to max So plan right now is to to keep keep our Hellion up front so that we can swan this guy out of existence. I'm going to steal that. Oh, I can't steal both of them. So I guess you just have to kill this guy and then steal the other one. Yoink. Oh, we didn't get there. One off means we take a crit to the face. Heartbreak. Let's just strip the token and do that. There we go. Good hit. 26 to 44. Not bad. Our Hellion is doing uh, doing work. Range damage? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so now we can go... Oh, we can actually go left here. Get one more chance at mastery. Or we could get the cash. I don't think I care about the cash. Oh, is this the Cap'n? Incremental, but deadly all the same. The Cap'n it is. And Lustrous, you've uh, you've started slacking on those crits. Can you uh, can you pick it up, please? Magrain is only hitting for two. It's not enough, so we'll do that, I guess. Okay. We tried. And Lustrous, you slacker. Eye on the prize, sir. Eye on the prize. Deleted. So, what we do here, hopefully this doesn't kill. Uh-oh. Highly likely to kill. Ooh, nice. Well, I mean, it got the kill anyways. So, the fog receding potentially stress heals. So, it's better to wait one more round before we do that. But, what can you do? All right. And then we'll do this fight into lair into Oasis. Sure, blind for them. Works for me. Ooh. Senor Flensiford 
the 17th. Oh, and lustrous. These are these are pitiful numbers. Okay, luckily, luckily RC decided to uh, save the day. Got to pump those numbers up. <laughs> that's uh, that's Matthew McConaughey from Wolf of Wall Street, right? Gadget was that the reference? Those are rookie numbers. You got to pump those numbers up. So, so good. <laughs> so we steal this guy's crit. Let's snipe it. Weaken them that another may finish the work. She is hitting hard. Our hull has been keeled. Didn't quite get all the recovery that I hoped that we would, but was good enough. Let it die. Okay, so much garbage. Strong shackles, not this run. Oh yeah, I was I was trying to decide if. With we have fourteen, we have eight speed. Yeah, we're not quite fast enough. We should we should grab a, a, a hang on to this and potentially try and grab a, a stimulating pulse. This. Get rid of that for now. I think unblinking entropy isn't a go. So the the thing that this run has been lacking. We've not had we've not gotten great luck with combat items. I trust you have calculated your odds carefully. This will not be easy. This will not be easy. Yeah, I feel like we never get the the dream shambler spawn run. Okay, let's let's make sure that we have sensible things equipped. That's good. I don't know if I'm ever going to use this. Maybe we hang on to the death cap spores, toss this here. Toss that there. Okay. And then any skill changes. For the Leviathan, we can't change our party. We sh you should be able to change your party order at this screen as a side note. And eh, we'll be okay. Famous last words. The Church of the Change. An inglorious heap of rotting timbers. That's more like it and lustrous. That's more like it. That was a weak sauce hit though. Outrageous. Well done. Straight 
cruising. And effective. I'm trying to think what... Like, the Leviathan has some pretty good trophies that we might consider using. Oh, that Vulnerable did not help our cause. Should have definitely... If I had realized we had that blind, I would have played that differently. Yeah, plus two combat item would be nice. I, I also am kind of interested in, in the double bleed, just because we're doing so much bleed. Ah, uh, 58, we're not we're not landing those. Let's just stab stabby stab this guy. Yeah, I think two out of three could work for us. Who needs taunt when they're just gonna taunt for you? What do we got? Ah, uh, beck and call. Interesting. Interesting. Carved bodkin's pretty okay too. All right, let's let's hope this doesn't go too badly. They must be made to see that their monstrous god is mortal. Carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. Okay, here comes the hand. Do we just delete the hand immediately? I think we do that with point blank shot. So I think we do this first. Oof. With a vulnerable, only getting 11 is pretty weak sauce there. This guy is resisting some bleeds. I guess he has 60 bleed resist. We're, we're making quick work of, uh, of the Leviathan, though, I will say. All right. That, that would be one way to Leviathan. Sweet reprieve. Until the next... That is one way to Leviathan. Let's see. That can go carved bodkin. I think we potentially put carved bodkin in place of that. I think that can go... We might hang on to that. Uh, Ablet of Powders, I don't think we're going to run. Bandages, we could have probably equipped the bandages instead. If we saw fit. Invigorating Intoxicants is a no. Milk Soaked Linen, we might keep for the final boss. I don't really want to get rid of these. Are we, are we at the point now where we have no more Cultist events? We have one more Cultist event, and I don't want to get one of those back. We're probably not going to roll, use the whiskey barrel. The candles are asking to be gotten rid of. The seaman's boots, I don't know why I'm hanging on to those. Spiked skullcap, if we're going hard on bleed, there's some, some allure to that. 
I, I, explosives magazine. We we might get like one proc out of it. So. A sanctum of tranquility. Wait, and we don't. Oh, we picked up. <laughs> Good luck, go go gadget, Schadenfreude. Good luck. The eyeball can be a can be a cruel mistress for sure. I'll let misstep go. If we if we get another mischief from the Oblivion's Rampart, I'm going to be a little annoyed. But all right, does RC have a? Oh yeah, we put the lot in him there. Three stress heal for everybody. Well, better than nothing, I guess. And then I guess swap that with that and get rid of that. We're almost there. Home freaking stretch. Look look at the planning here. Zero wheels, zero armor. <laughs> wheels is you, coach limping. Be prudent. I never upgraded open vein. That's a uh, that's a bit of an oversight. We have no blind, so this guy is potentially going to make a mess of things slightly. Bravo. Oh, the crit token at the last second is kind of yuck. Get rid of him so there's no risk of anything silly happening. The enemy weakens and wanes. What happened? Like, I feel like we used to get a lot more knockbacks with, uh, with point blank shot. We've had almost exclusively resists this time around. I don't know if, maybe that's me though. Oh, Lockjaw does show up. I want your occultist, how much are you selling him for? That's, that's a good question. So I'm I'm excited about Lockjaw. I think Lockjaw goes here. Get rid of the fishmonger's gloves. All right. At last, respite within reach. We just picked up four. Four bucks, and it filled us up. Not in the business of selling my body. <laughs> hot take and lustrous hot take. The fire is lit. The Fanatic Slayer and Greedy. The inn awaits its favorite. Eight freaking mastery. 252 baubles. We never saw a hoarder. The entire run. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. We probably won't use Demon Pull. We might use Malediction. 
Is that crazy to think? So, I mean, and Lustrous, not to, uh, not to be the bearer of bad news, but some OnlyFans accounts make, uh, make more money in a month than some of us will make in a lifetime. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, just saying, just saying. God, we still have Calm? Oh yeah, we can't get rid of it because it's freaking, we could buy... We could buy one of those. Let's see. So, let's see what happens when we do this. Nothing. Certainly is a weird reality, that's for sure. Let's see. So, let's, so the next thing we want to do is we'll grab the wild tea. Come on, burn off calm. <laughs> um, okay, so we're stuck with calm. I guess that means everyone's going to get speedy except for... We do need food, so I need to I need to be a little chilly here. Okay. Now let's look at let's look at relationships, make sure everything is maxed out. Silver Eye. So RC Legion and Silver Eye. RC Legion. There we go. RC Silver Eye. Twenties across the board. Good stuff. Okay. More of that for you, Silver Eye. Now let's get some food. Okay, we have four food now. And I think one songbook of rousing tunes are two soothing pulses. Two soothing pulses are pretty tempting. So I actually want to I want to slow legion down just a touch to to guarantee that we're getting and lustrous is getting good procs out of smoldering hymnal. Now the question is 12 and 12. It's a little risky still to get rid of that. There wasn't a simulating pulses in here, right? No. Let's see. So you, Silver Eye, you're at 80% burn resist. So two two of those burn thingies would make things a lot easier to handle. Yeah. It's not the most exciting, but... There we go. Now, any trinkets that we are interested in? No, no, and no. All right, well, I guess we get to take all our baubles with us. Each improvement, a new variable. I am going to go back and call. I want to I wanna experiment with it. I, I don't think I've ever used it on a bleed team. Yeah, and unfortunately, if we want Lustrous to keep going first, we probably need to do... We need to keep that there. This is for the final boss. This is for the final boss. This is for the final boss. And this is for the final boss. Hmm, do we want... The Milk Soak Linen can be really clutch on the final boss. The death cap spores are pretty unimpactful on the final boss. So we'll do that. And I think for now I'm going to leave the mineral rich spring water off and we'll use that. Okay. The mountain waits, casting its shadow over all Here we go. Should be a full complement of, of friendships. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. Aspiration unites the hope. I'm seeing a lot of respect on this team. Yes, I am. One, two, three, four respectfuls, one amorous, and one hopeful. All right. 
here goes nothing. Yeah, so I I think amazing changes in this latest uh, this latest update. Too enthusiastic, thumbs up. I think it's uh, the the use of candles is interesting. Well, that's good because we have to switch over to our second game. I'm excited to uh, to get slice and dice going. Check out the new stuff. We are gonna start on a fresh save file. I have played a little bit of slice and dice on my phone in the past, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna start from a fresh save file and and do some unlocks. We are also gonna take a slightly longer than average break before uh, before that, so that I can check in with uh, with Sasha, who's gonna be going out of town. The miss. Tragic miss. Eighteen for three, though. That's a lot of bleed. That is a lot of bleed. So if we want to get the kill, we, we need to poke him. So I'll do that. Twelve for three off one action. And because we're bleeding, we get to do it again? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, why didn't the second one take? It didn't say resisted, or maybe I just missed it. What announcement are you hoping to hear at that event I mentioned earlier? I'm hoping for another DLC. Hey, congratulations, Schadenfreude. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna hang out. We're definitely gonna hang out. Oh, so okay, so we have no second thing, so it is it's time to equip the goodies that we need. So that's this here. This goes here because no no resists are going to happen, and then I think I will use that. All right. All right, we've done what we can do. I don't think we change anything. The mom isn't home meme. We could. We could. When the cats are away, the mice will play. So I am not planning to... I'm not planning to slow roll this fight. Sometimes I sometimes I slow roll this fight and kind of do it the methodical way. That is not my plan. Because I'm not sure we could do it if we wanted to. Well, we did get we are one off there. Okay, no longer one off. This may be the most dominant uh, lung I have ever done. Although I am being a little greedy by not taunting on uh, on our Hellion. Wow, that's no chill. All right. Alright, thank you for actually doing the work on that front lung. I could have probably done that with toe-to-toe. -to -toe. That would have been smarter. Twenty-eight for five. 
who needs taunt? Just go Ooga Booga damage. That is the uh, that is the current approach. Thirty six for four. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little bit dangerous, though. 9 to 15, 9 to 13, 4 to 7. All right, clutches, clutches the 15, although I'm a little pissed that uh, I'm not going to get the last big hit here. Gosh, this, this poor lungs... Back to the beacon. This team would have done really well on the beacon. I will say. This this team had the had the damage. Uh, grape shop blast for the disrespect. There we go. But yeah, who who would have thunk it? Beck and Call with a fully bleeded up team that's doing some big crits. Weird. It's strong. Go figure. I mean, I enjoy the Hellion. Eighty nine candles isn't a bad isn't a bad take either. Um, but yeah, no, that was that was strong. Uh, I can't actually bring up the characters, but like everybody, everybody performed really well there. I think that team is uh, that team is up there as well. I I feel like next week we have to figure out a way to get the duelist in. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be a thing that needs to happen. But uh, but we're gonna take a quick break here. I'm gonna check in. Yeah, it was it was incredibly quick. Uh, that, that was like speed run ter territory for that last fight. Now I'm going to take a short break. We will, uh, we'll run some ads, do all the things, and then, uh, I will come back and we'll be switching over to slice and dice, which I'm very excited about. So, uh, so let me take a moment here. Be right back. And then we'll, we'll get on to the, the feature, the feature second half of the stream.
Okie doke. Let's uh, let's switch over and get the second half of these festivities cracking on. Go. All right. See you on the flip side, YouTube.